So, I have decided to build a synthesizer. It's been on my bucket list for many years, but I haven't really figured out how to approach it until recently when I learned about Eurorack and modular synthesizers. And after watching Dukmam No Computer, Moritz Klein, Christian Blåsol and a couple of other synth DIYers on YouTube, I got really inspired. I have some basic knowledge about electronics and I have most of the needed tools at hand already. So um, it can't be that hard, right? Let's kick off this adventure by building a small Eurorack case that I can use at my workbench to develop my modules. In this episode I will focus on the design of the case. The design is made around extruded aluminium rails made by Schroff. In retrospect maybe not the best choice for a Eurorack, but uh, they are easy to get hold of where I live, and they are not so expensive. The main drawbacks are that the threaded strip have M2.5 threads, and they are set quite deep in the rail, so the screws for the panel needs to be quite long. But this was solved by sourcing a bag of 10mm long M2.5 screws. I decided to make the enclosure of the case in 5 pieces of wood, using the same material for all sides. So I started by modeling this in Fusion 360 to get a rough idea about the size and how much space I needed to fit the modules and the power supply. The choice of wood fell on Paulovnia, a very light wood that is very easy to cut and sand. It is a popular material used by many guitar builders. Next step was to decide on the power distribution. My initial idea was to DIY the power supply and incorporate it into the case. But after some thinking I decided to use an external power brick and connect everything from the front. So the choice fell on Tip Top Audio, Microsev's power supply. The bus board on the other hand was DIY'd. I first made a schematic diagram in KiCad. It consists of the input and output connectors, so I can daisy chain several bus boards together. The dope for A100 spec includes CV and gate interconnection through the backplane. I don't think that I will ever use this feature. The bus board also have a local plus 5 volt regulator and 3 LED power indicators. And finally we have 10 boxed 16 pin power connectors for the modules. The PCB is a double sided design with the input and output connectors at each side and the 16-pin boxed headers in between. There are a lot of bus boards available on the internet, but the cheapest solution was actually to make my own design and send it to JLC PCB for manufacturing. I ordered a bunch of these that I would use for future projects as well. So, the next thing to solve was the attachment of the bus board to the back panel. Of course, regular wood screws and standoffs would have worked fine, but I decided to make a bespoke mounting plate, since it makes the attachment somewhat easier. With the design phase completed, the next step will be to start putting everything together. So stay tuned for the next episode. The music you hear in the background is not made by me. It's made by my very talented friend Momentum. Please check out his work and support it by subscribing to his channel. I will put a link in the description. And with that, thank you for watching, see you soon.